everyone goes to Pizza Joe's, and you've heard that friendly slogan for many years, and it's just as true today as it was when you first heard it. Watch the game right here on NCTV 45, and then head over to Pizza Joe's. Pizza Joe's uh, provided a grant for this podcast. Yeah, they have many great locations, State Street, Highland Avenue, Croton, and Shenango. It's your local pizza place. Everyone goes to Pizza Joe's. It's Butts Flowers in downtown Newcastle for fine gifts and more. Flowers, 724-652-7727 or toll free from anywhere, 1-800-443-7726. It's Butts Flowers in downtown Newcastle. Hey guys. Keep watching NCTV 45 for Cooking the Castle. You're going to love it. We have a great relationship with Main Street Clothiers and Custom Tailors in downtown Newcastle at 210 East Washington Street. And whenever you watch Focus NC... My wardrobe is furnished by Main Street Clothiers and Custom Tailors. Welcome to Focus NC, and this is segment three of our three-part segment with Sandra Collins. Sandra is the director of the Newcastle Public Library, and Sandra, welcome back again. So much to talk about when it comes to the library. Uh, and make sure you tune into segments uh, one and two as well. We covered uh, lots of areas there with services and resources and uh, the mission of the library, and also some history, so you'll enjoy that as well. We want to continue our conversation here shortly, but first, uh, we want to thank our sponsors, Pizza Joe's, with four Newcastle locations, also Butts Flowers and Gifts, downtown Newcastle, and also Main Street Clothiers and Custom Tailors in downtown Newcastle. Uh, library is located 207 East North Street in Newcastle, and uh, you can always give them a call at 724 658 6659 during their business hours and Sandra you were telling me that you're going to be expanding your your uh, your hours All right beginning uh, July 7th we'll be open Monday through Thursday from 8:30 to 8:30 Friday and Saturday from 9 to 5 So you're only closed on Sunday which right. is understandable but you have so many hours of operation and you are to be commended you and your staff and uh, how, how many uh, staff members have do you 20, have now We have 28 staff and that's a mixture? mixture of, of full-time and part-time. Well, that's impressive. I, I think so. I know years ago you had more, but I think in, in this day and age, 28 employees for, for a facility that has so much to offer is saying something. Now, not only do you have services and resources for all age groups, but I know you really do a lot for the uh, teens and the kids of the area. Maybe you could talk a little bit about the teens right now. Right. Um, one of the ongoing programs that has been really popular for, for the teenage group is um, something called what we call Beatnik Cafe. And that happens the first Monday of every month. And it's essentially a performance venue. Um, we set up our meeting room space uh, as a performance space. And people can come in and um, play the guitar, sing do whatever performance art they want. And yeah, we, we promote that on our community happening uh, segment as well. That's right. that's a good feature. So, and we also have two um, anim, anime and manga programs. I'm not, you know, I'm sort of familiar with them, but the, it's uh, Sharon Savage, who's our teen specialist, hosts those twice a month as well. Do they well. have to call her separately? Oh, uh, they can call for more information, but the programs are the first... I think the first, second, and third Mondays of the month at 7 o'clock, so you, 
can just come. Yeah, because I see she has a separate phone number for right. for the teen programs, and right. that number is different than the library number. That's seven two four six five eight sixty six fifty eight extension one eleven. Actually, it should be sixty six fifty nine extension one eleven. Oh well, that I we'll think have that's to, a misprint. There. That that was on your website, so, so we'll, you guys are gonna have, to, have fix to fix that, that. too. <laughs> so we're gonna change that here. So that's six five eight sixty six fifty nine. So that is right. that is the library number. Right. Okay. That's where there was a little confusion. So that is the same number as the Newcastle Public Library. Thanks for clearing that up. Uh, anything else about the teens? No, the, the, other than the summer reading club for teens this year is called Spark a Reaction, and then there's some special programs, programming there, and you can check with Sharon, and, and she has prizes throughout the summer for, for different things that teens read and do. Now we want to move along to the kids, the children, and when we say the kids, what age groups are we talking about? Uh, for children, we're usually talking about infants through about grade five, starting with around grade six or so, they start migrating over to the teen program, but for children that are not in school yet, pre-K, we, we, we have story times for different ages. We have a family place program, which is really aimed at caregivers and very young children, too you know, three and under, where we provide create time for creative play. Because for young children, the play they, play they do is actually how they learn. That's their work. I would guess that the summer reading program and, is real popular. Right, and our summer reading program for children just started on Saturday. It's, it's called Fizz Bang Read, and it's, a lot of our programming this year is built around STEM, science, and technology activities. How do they register? Uh, just come to, yeah, can register online to our website, or they can come to the library, or the bookmobile, or, or any of the libraries in the county. With the same, we're all libraries are running the same, the same theme with different programming. I know you got something new for the children. The book flicks is an online is an online program that's available that provides uh, books for young children books, you know, essentially online e-books. E What's the Newcastle Macaroni Kit? Um, that's, I have no idea. I'm sorry. I'll oh, have to well. go back. I've never heard of it. We'll call Susan Morgan. Right. She'll probably tell us about it. I know there's a, um, there's a children's book called The Macaroni Kid that's about this southwestern Pennsylvania area about a child, young boy that was working in the like the strip district in Pittsburgh, but I've never heard of the Newcastle Macaroni Kid. We'll, but I'm we'll, learning new we'll things. We'll do every, some uh, research. I'm learning something new every day. I learned the other day that there's a mini, uh, replica statue of a, there's a miniature yeah. Statue of Liberty in Newcastle. Now keep in mind, uh, Sandra just arrived to the Newcastle area in November of last year, right? Right. 2013. So that you know, we we feel that we have to bring that out. Uh, what about the puppets and the oh, stuffed and, animals? Yeah, and those are available for kids to either use in the building, and I think there's some that can be checked out. So, again, just as for adults, there's a mixture of formats. All right, so much going on at the library. Uh, I wish we had time for everything. But as we start to wind down segment three, I just want to touch on a couple more items. Uh, do, do you know what the percentage ratio is when it comes to demographics? Well, it depends upon percentage of what, for example, in statistics, 40% of the population of um, Lawrence County has a library card at one of the libraries. Um, in terms of... Um, what about age group demographics? You know, like, oh, do you, do you know, you, can you give me an approximate like percentage ratio of adults to young people? Not at this point. No, okay. Not without making them up. It's not something I have that I, I can certainly not a problem. get later, but I don't have with not me. Not a at problem. The what, what's the bookseller? The bookseller is a used bookstore that is located in the lower level, the basement of the library. It's run by the Friends of the Library, which is an ad, the Friends of the Library is an advocacy group that helps raise funds for the library and also advocates for us in the community when we need it. But the book sell, you know, bookseller is open three days a week, I think Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and it sells used books and, and other items, and the proceeds go to support special programming at the library, helps fund, uh, buy additional books and materials for, for the collection, and they also put some aside for special projects throughout the year. You mentioned the Friends of the Library. You know, that was established in 1992, mm -hmm. correct? 
And how do people get involved with they that? They can. There, there is a there is a do uh, a small membership fee. They can join at the library, or they can join actually through our website as well. There's a link to the membership form. Um, we do encourage you to contribute to the library. Uh, there are many ways you can do that. You want to mm -hmm. touch on that before we wrap up, Sandra? Uh, we have a number of different programs. We have one called a Memorial Book Program where you can buy, you can come in and donate uh, money to the to the library to put a book or a DVD or really any format in, in our collection in honor, in, either to honor somebody or a memorial for them if they've passed away. Um, you know, we will be doing a probably a um, direct mail campaign this year to raise funds. We also have started a program we call Last, Last Light a Spark Together, and we have a partnership with businesses. With, for example, we have a partnership right now with Turning Head Salon, which is on I think Wil Wilmington Boulevard, and a um, person can come into the library. They buy a discount uh, booster card for ten dollars. We get half of the proceeds, and then they have a card that provides discounts on services at the salon for the next year. As uh, you can see, so much going on at the Newcastle Public Library. I do uh, recommend you calling them and ask more questions. Sandra and her staff would be glad to talk to you. They're great people. Call 724-658-6659 on the website. One more time, Sandra. www.ncdlc. Org. I'm assuming that stands for Newcastle District Library Center. Library Center. Very good. Well, thank you, Sandra, for being with us. Uh, Sandra is the director of the Newcastle Public Library. And uh, we want to thank our sponsors as well. I'm Gary West for NCTV 45. We have a great relationship with Main Street Clothiers and Custom Tailors in downtown Newcastle at 210 East Washington Street. And whenever you watch Focus and See, my wardrobe is furnished by Main Street Clothiers and Custom Tailors. It's Butts Flowers in downtown Newcastle for fine gifts and more. Flowers, 724-652-7727 or toll free from anywhere, 1-800-443-7726. It's Butts Flowers in downtown Newcastle. Hi. Gary West on location at Little Johnny's 2 in downtown Newcastle, right on East Washington Street. I'm here with the, the owner, Chris Quiera. Chris, you got a great place. You've been here how long now? We've been downtown coming on four years now, but Little Johnny's has been around for over 15 years. When you walk into your restaurant, right away you see a lot of spaciousness, it's clean atmosphere, and, and on every table I notice you have your menu. And that's what impresses me most about Little Johnny's. It's not just delicious pizza. He has a, a huge variety. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, that's very true. We do. We have dining for about 50. So you can come in, you can sit down, you can eat. But say you're on the go, we do delivery and takeout as well. And not just pizza. Like you, like you mentioned, we do flatbreads, we do wings, we do strombolis, calzones, hoagies, salads. So it runs the gauntlet. You have Whatever soup you too, eat, right? We do. We have homemade uh, wedding soup, homemade stuffed pepper soup. So whatever your needs are, we can do it for dining, delivery, or takeout. And they have great pricing. They have a lot of beverages as well. You're going to love Little Johnny's Pizza because they've been around a long time and they know what they're doing. So stop by and what's the contact information, Chris? Little Johnny's 2, located at 130 East Washington Street. Give us a call or stop in, 724-657-2210. Be looking for us on the road again and see TV 45.